As I said, uh, Sylvester Mitty here at ringside, and you know Errol pretty well. What would you expect from him in this uh, exhibition against Roberto Duran? Would he start to uh, go pretty fast and uh, start poking out uh, hands and moving? Well, I think this, the pair of them, they should, after a couple of minutes, reach an agreement. If Errol is too fast, then he should lower down the, the power. At this moment in time, I think Errol's been too, he's been too hard. Well, uh, someone may have forgotten to tell uh, Earl Christie that it's an exhibition. It's, uh, he's uh, throwing in some uh, punches yeah. there to uh, Roberto. But, uh, he's Sorry. Two of them get tied up inside, but... Uh, Sorry about that. I, I, could not, I could not take any more of this. I think this is an exhibition, and... Um, Errol should be basically going there to enjoy himself, not making this a hard war of attrition, which he's doing right now. I think it's a very diabolical showing by him. Uh, well, I'm sure uh, Sylvester um, Roberto Duran will be able to handle him in there, no doubt about it. But yes, I mean, I'm... Um, as you see, um, he crosses the, uh, the right over the top of the left. And um, I'm sure that would have uh, hurt uh, Errol Christie. But I saw them in the uh, dressing room earlier on having a chat. So I saw Errol uh, talking to uh, Roberto's interpreter. So they may have been uh, sorting things out. Well, I don't know. I think um, maybe Errol hasn't got the maturity I thought he would have. Had I been in there, or like what Harry's done, they played. There's no need for venom. Nobody's really enjoying seeing anybody getting hurt in what is truly an exhibition. And what I think um, Errol should do is um, take out the way the power and stop trying to prove something. Well, the uh, crowd are uh, certainly enjoying it, Sylvester, even though, as you say, it is an exhibition. And, uh, well, uh, there's our people at ringside. In the uh, center of our shot there is the uh, former flyweight champion of the world, Charlie Magray. And uh, maybe someone in the corner has suggested something to uh, Earl. In the meantime, we're waiting for the uh, bell to go for the start of round two. As you said, uh, Sylvester, um, maybe uh, 
Oh, Christie hasn't read the script about this exhibition. He's a lot heavy ones there, hasn't he? Yes, I think I got carried away there. I mean, I spoke to Errol before, and I said, if I were you, Errol, I'd treat this as what it is. A nice, gentle, pat -a cake exhibition where nobody gets hurt, but people thoroughly enjoy it. And the script, as you say, was not read properly. And Roberta is a game old man, as he is. He's saying, well, if you want to make this hard, I'll accommodate you. We're back into the uh, center of the ring for this, the uh, third and uh, final round of Earl Christie's efforts with uh, Roberta Duran. He's already fought three uh, rounds against uh, Michael Harris. So this is the end of uh, six rounds of exhibition which uh, Frank Maloney, in association with the World Sports Corporation, has put on here at the uh, quarter ton room in uh, London. Round six coming up. The world has uh, taken off the uh, head here, uh, Sylvester. Yeah. I think that's really foolish myself, um, because... This should be treated as a sparring session, and um, the head guard does minimize the likelihood of getting cut. And Errol still hasn't turned off the power. I don't know what his corners told him or what he's thinking. But Roberta is playing, but Errol seems like he's got something to prove. Well, I don't think uh, he's uh, throwing in a lot of uh, heavy punches, Earl Christie, but uh, he's uh, catching a few as well. And uh, when you're in there against the man who's uh, one of the best uh, street fighters in the world, <laughs> I think uh, you're picking on something. <laughs> That's right. It, uh, I'm not, don't want to overstate this, but there's two ways we could play this. We could say, hey, you're in London, let's enjoy your stay here, let's play ball. Or we could say, let's play rough. I would rather say, hey, let's play ball. Oh, that's good, that's good. They play now. Hubert is a game, game old man. And I don't mean that in the bad sense. Ah, the way... Well, he uh, just throws him away and then comes in and catches him. He's got Arthur's such just, good uh, balance. A lot of punches and leaving uh, Errol bag away and just that smiles and laughs at him. Such a difficult person to hit. There it is, the end of uh, three rounds with Errol Christie and the great Roberto Duran. Well, Sylvester, uh, what are your thoughts of that with uh, Earl Christie and uh, Michael Harris in there against Roberto Duran? In the end, I think it was a very entertaining, um, a very entertaining exhibition. My only primary concern with Errol and Roberto was I didn't want to see something which was so light-hearted turn on toward. So if I came across as being um, castigating, that was the reason behind. I didn't want to see anybody get hurt in what is held as being an exhibition. No, I think you were dead right, and I think uh, someone, as I said, uh, uh, Christie may not have uh, written the, or read the script. Uh, someone wrote the script, but uh, he may not have read it properly. Because he did look as if, uh, in, certainly in that first round, as if he was taking the whole thing very, very seriously. <laughs> when once the adrenaline starts pumping, whoa, who knows what happens. standing up there giving this man a standing ovation. Yes, I think he's, he's absolutely enjoyed his, his trip into London thus far. And he seems genuinely moved by the trophy he's just received from Ambrose Mendy. I'm amazed how short he really is, but he's as wide as he is tall. And he's got thick, powerful legs. Roberto doesn't speak very much English. So, I'd like to say that Roberto told me when he came into London 
that he's been wearing by coming to the United Kingdom for many, many years, in fact, going all the way back to 1972, because he defeated our own Kenya agenda. Now, I'd like everybody in here, I know you've played a tremendous amount of your tickets, to get up on your chair and show this man that we would go. Uh,